Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a search form and the results page in two different landing pages. So when you're done what you're going to be able to do is have the search form on this website index.html or my home page and when I click search it's going to take me to results.html which I have my results displayed in this part of the website. So the benefit of doing it this way is, let's say on your home page or somewhere on your website, you only have a limited amount of space that you're working with, and you don't have enough space to display your results, nor do you want to remove a lot of your content from your website. So the idea is to embed a search form, let your users be able to search based on any one of these fields, and when they click search, you go to a different page where you have your results embedded. So it's very beneficial if you're working with a limited amount of space um, and if you need a, a bigger container on your website to display these results. So now let's go ahead and log inside our account to take a look and see how this interface was built. Here I have my um, application already built, the one that I just demoed. Down below, um, I have already named my application and to speed up the time in the demo, I have already uploaded our table. So let me go there and show you our records. Let me open the table now. And here are all the records inside my table. So very standard. You import your data, you bring it into Caspio, and then you have your data presented inside a database. I'm going to go to data pages now and build the interface. And for this specific interface, we're going to need two data pages. The first data page that I'm going to build is the search form. And to build a search form, we're going to need a submission form that's going to turn into our search form. So let's click Next. We're going to select our table because that's where all the data resides. I have already created my sample style and localization for this application from these two tabs because I wanted to match the look and feel of my website. If you have a specific set of colors for the aesthetics, you can go to Styles yourself and Localizations and you can configure your own look and feel to match the look and feel of your brand. Let me call this data page Search Form. And we are going to need to enable advanced options and parameters in our search form. So let's click Next. The three fields that I would like to search on is library name, city, and zip code. Now we have actual fields inside our search form. Uh, what we need to do is create three virtual fields. So let's add virtual fields into our form. And the reason why is because if you leave the actual fields, you're going to be inputting data into a table. And that's not what we want. We want virtual fields to be able to pull results. We're sending them to the results page, and the results needs to receive the values to be able to um, filter out the results. So that's why we need virtual fields as opposed to actual fields. My first virtual field is going to be library name. And in the advanced tab, I need to pass this field value as a parameter and I'm going to abbreviate it. I'm going to say LN for library name. My second field is going to be city. So let me change the label to city. Pass that value as city. And last but not least, we have the zip code field. Let me rename my label, label to zip. And in the advanced tab, we're going to pass that value as zip. Now that we have our virtual fields created, we no longer need the actual fields. So let's go ahead and delete those. We don't want to duplicate any of the fields in my search form. On the next screen, instead of uh, seeing a confirmation message that your submission was successful, we need to redirect users to a new page. And this is where you're going to list the, the second page where the results are going to be embedded. So for us, we have results.html. We're going to keep it relative. So it maintains the full URL of that landing page, HTTP colon slash slash www. So it just maintains the full URL. And just to clarify what we're doing here, notice that in my search form, when I click search, it redirects me to results.html. So this is why we need to put that URL inside this field. When you're done, go ahead and click finish. And here's your search form. If you're happy with the preview, the way the search form looks, you can now embed it by clicking on this deploy link enabling access to the data page. Let's go ahead and copy this. And let's paste that code into our script. So I'm on my index page, and I would like to embed that form 
inside my uh, side menu and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that right in here save my script go back to my website refresh my page and I'm using this template that I have next to my working application just to show you how we're embedding things into a website so now that I have embedded and copied that code I'm gonna refresh my page and here is my search form on my website I don't like the way my labels look with my fields. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place my labels on top of the fields. That way it fits a little bit nicer. And to do that, let's go to our Caspio account. Let's edit our form. And right over here inside the search form, all I'm going to do now that I have my advanced tab opened up or enabled, I'm going to place my label position on top of the fields. And another thing that I can do here is I can actually make my fields a little bit longer. So let's make them 32 characters. That way I can change the width of my fields to fit even nicer inside my web page. I'm going to click Finish. I'm going to refresh my website. And now there are my search fields. It looks a little bit cleaner uh, and it fits nicer inside my uh, upper right corner of my website. So that's the index page, how to embed a search form. We still need to create a results page and embed it inside our results.html page. So let's go back to our account. Let's build a new data page. And this time we're going to build the report. Let's go with the tabular format. Same table. Let's call this data page results. And we're going to apply the same style and localization that I did earlier. And we also need to enable advanced options and parameters again for the results page. We need to enable filter data and allow parameters, bridge and external parameters, because we're receiving those parameters in the results page now. The filtering fields that I would need is again the library name, city, and zip code. Because these are the three fields we're searching on, we also need to filter the, based on these three fields in our results page. And now we need to configure the fil uh, filtering fields um, to make sure we receive those passing parameters. So library name, we're going to make this contains instead of equal. If I leave it as equal, that means I have to know the exact library name before I can pull up that result. But if I leave it as contains, it's only looking at partial keywords or letters that you're putting inside the search form. In the advanced tab, I need to receive that value or parameter as an external parameter. And again, we need to have this be abbreviated as LN. Basically, whatever name you're passing in the search form, you need to receive it the same way in the results page. And we're going to leave this criteria blank. So if you're not really searching for anything, it's going to list all of the results. What I mean by that is if you leave this field blank and click search, it's going to pull all the results. And now we need to configure the same way we did the library name. The rest of our fields contains, receive the parameter, city, ignore, and zip code contains, receive parameter, zip code, and ignore criteria if left blank. On the next page, I'm going to list uh, my library name, city, state, and maybe phone number. This is going to be on the results page, so what you're actually displaying on the results page. I'm not going to configure my fields on the results page. I'm going to list 25 libraries on the results page. And I'm going to enable the details. And inside the details page, I'm going to list everything. Click Finish. And now we have a results page. So when you're done, if you're happy with the preview, you can click on Deploy, Enable Access, Copy the Deploy Code, and let's paste that code inside our results page now. So here's my index page for Home, and here's my results page. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that right over here inside my content of my website. I'm going to save my script. I'm going to refresh my browser. And now when you click search and leave all the fields blank, you're going to get those results. However, if I go back to the home page and if I search for City Fremont, now we're displaying, displaying just the Fremont City with those libraries inside that city. That concludes the tutorial on how to build a search and results on two different landing pages. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and let us know if you need some assistance. Thank you for watching.